Welcome back to another episode of the Art Sensei. Today we're going to be looking at three art products that I've uh, been wanting to review for a while, um, just haven't had a chance to. Uh, it's going to be the Faber-Castell 12 uh, count 9000 pencils. Uh, these are my go-to pencils for my figure drawings and for layouts. Um, the general multi-pastel chalk pencils, uh, pastels, um, they are great for composition, um, drawing the figure, um, getting the pose right, and they come in really cool earth tones. And last but not least, the Copic Multiliner. Um, these are still brand new, I haven't touched them, just because I have a ton already, um, but I can never have enough of these. Um, these are the replaceable ones, they are not the disposable ones, so you can change the nibs and the cartridges. But uh, I will show you in the video. So hopefully you enjoy this video, and if you do, please give a like and leave a comment. Um, always love to read your comments, and I love to respond. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the next uh, item that I wanted to review is the multi-pastel compressed chalk. Um, this is from Generals. Uh, in my previous video for the pencil sets, I, I talked about the Generals, Kimberly pencils. Um, they I tend to use General more for charcoals, uh, compressed chalk and pastels. Um, they do really great in that department. Uh, this one is a nice little set here. Now I, these are mostly earth tones, monotone, and you got your whites and even a black stump. Um, these are great if you're going to be doing uh, life drawings. I don't have a model or a reference photo in front of me so I'm just going to draw from memory. So What's great about these is you can really play around with shapes. Um, you can blend these, they blend together. There is a sort of hardness to them that can get a, a, you need to get a little used to. Um, this is just gonna be like a pose of someone uh, sitting on a bench or kind of sitting down, waiting for their turn. And monotone is one of those things that just look amazing. I, I I wish I could draw in monotone. It's just one of those things where um, I see some monotone pictures and I, I get blown away. But uh, my color theory is not as good as others. Um, as a lot of you guys know, uh, seeing colors is not my strong suit. Um, but it doesn't mean I can't experiment and playing around with uh, shapes and colors. And it's a nice ASMR. And then you can even add a couple of browns in here to really bring out the shapes. And I, when you're doing this, I wouldn't worry so much about detail, and it's just getting the shape down. You know, you can always detail later. You know, uh, I always say when you're getting your car washed, you don't go straight to the detailing. You go to rinsing it off, polishing it, adding soap, and then you go to the detail last. This is mostly just to get that shape in there. And you can kind of think of this as a kata. Uh, for those who are not familiar with karate, in karate you do uh, a kata. And that kata is more for memorization. It's more for your muscle memory. And it's the same thing with art. It's having a kata. Um, so if you don't feel comfortable making shapes, uh, take this time, you know, don't worry about the paper, and just commit to a line. So you just kind of don't worry about the mess you're making. Just kind of flow. And then you start learning different mark making tools. Like, oh man, I didn't think I could use that for a speeding flash or something like that. And don't worry about making a mess. You know, you can always clean up your mess. Uh, and then all of a sudden, this mess you made Starts so looking really pretty, and and this is where the magic 
of the compressed chalk comes. So that image that I did early on, the shape is still there. You kind of play around with it. Just massage it. <laughs> You're massaging. Obviously, you don't want to use your fingers because um, you have a ton of oils and stuff on your body that can react to it. But maybe that's a mark making tool that you want to use. Um, I would recommend using a camoist cloth. Uh, those have a really nice um, feel to them and they leave a nice uh, mark to play around with. Blending stumps are just one of those things where they kind of smooth out the picture too much and you want to leave some of this, this look in there. And you can even kind of play around with just doing the silhouette of a face. Uh, obviously you start in the ridges. And now you got a face. And you're just playing around with light darks. You see how I switched up to the brown here. This is a nice kata to have. Make that kata important and bring out those values. And now you can go with a lighter tone, which is like this, uh, I wanna say it's like terracotta. I don't know, terracotta is a little bit more in the red range. And now you already have a face coming out there. Because you have those blacks working in tandem with the browns to start adding the value. And now you kind of have the Easter Island egg <laughs> or the head there. And you can blend with your hand, kill moist cloth or blending stump. But I'm not a fan of the blending stump. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, if you're looking to do something more earthy um, and really bring out this uh, character out of your artwork. Um, I definitely recommend picking this up. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was like uh, nine or eight bucks. Um, and it is a great little tool to have in your arsenal, especially if you're doing a lot of college work, um, figure drawing, um, and even if you're doing landscapes, because this is really great for a fall landscape you got your pumpkin colors and your fields and your dirt the only thing you don't have is your greens but you can always add something else Mix, mixing media is one of the my favorite things about drawing is uh drawing with pencil and then uh, extenuating things with uh, a jelly roll or adding something with a with a pen marker uh, just be careful using the marker on chalk or pastel or um, charcoal because it will get into the cartridge and it'll block up your pen and then you have to replace it, which with these you can replace. So, so that's a plus. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to say definitely a buy and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if you have a set. Uh, if you any, know of any other brands that you would recommend over the Generals, I would like to hear about it because I'd like to try it out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to keep it over 9,000. Take care.